Hey man, hey, we the news dudes, man. Hey, coming to you live, man. That ain't no job, cause we be trying to stay alive. Hey man, big ass news flash just in, man. Hey, take it your head back to live at my mama hop. He already um, he already um um ate some of mama's special possum pie. Can you hear me, Mr. Tater Chip Head Baxter? When you stop calling me Tater Chip Head? Well, John Baxter here at Mr. Bones' mom's house. I just had her special possum pie, and I have to tell you, let me get a little closer into the microphone, because I don't want her to hear this. It tasted like Mr. Bones' nasty feet after they've been dragged through the mud and topped off with rotten chimichangas. Hey, man, hey, hey, man, hey. Watch it, man. That's my mama. Yeah, but it still doesn't take away the fact that her possum pie sucks. But I'm not here to talk to you about how Mr. Bones' mom's possum pie really sucks. I'm trying to interview her to get some background information on the guy we all know and love, Mr. Bones. Here's his mama right now. Mrs. Bones, what kind of man is Mr. Bones? Uh, he's so kind, he's so considerate. Uh, he take the shirt off his back for anybody. Matter of fact, he'd do anything around the house just to please me. Really? Mr. Bones is like that? Mr. Bone? I was talking about Mr. Jones, my next door neighbor. Mr. Bone, my son, he a ten-time loser. I understand your kids are all highly educated. Uh, show sure is. I got five kids, and one went to Harvard, one went to MIT, one went to Florida State, one went to California State, and one went to, um, Penn. You mean Penn State? No, I meant the penitentiary. The state penitentiary. Well, that explains everything. So, Mr. Bones went to the state penitentiary. He sure did about five years. Something about some chickens and stuff. Mr. Bones, do you have anything to say for yourself? No, see, cuz, look here, man. Hey, see, cuz, no, cuz, see, cuz. Okay. Okay. <laughs>